Good morning, welcome to New York City. Jet lag got the better of me, so what better way to take advantage of that by recording a sunrise time lapse. I've been here for almost an hour now, and have some brilliant footage, and I'm here for yet another vlog, a travel vlog, where I spend some time here in New York, visiting our New York offices, but also to speak at a meetup and to organize a meetup. It's 6.30 a.m. Uh, I'm here at the corner of Central Park, the southeast corner. Fifth Avenue is right there. Always wanted to do a Central Park run. Today I'm doing it with my friend Joe. That's my friend Joe. He's taking me to Central Park for our run. Let's do it. Water reservoir. We're two and a half kilometers into this run. It's almost 30 degrees, but it feels bearable compared to the heat you have in Midtown. 3k in. Very hot, is it not? It's pretty hot. And we reached the point here at the reservoir where we could see New York skyline and Billionaire's Row. Quite impressive. The run is over. It was great. It was actually Joe that kept on pushing me, otherwise I would have given up in the 27 degree heat. But I did it. I think I did almost seven kilometers. It was good. I'm proud of myself. Now it's time to take a shower, have breakfast, get out of here, go to the office, and do what I'm actually here for. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, this is the New York office. This is Reza, this is Steven. And this is the WeWork building on Broad Street, right next to Wall Street. And this is uh, an internationally renowned co-working space. We have a huge building, we're on floor 17. It's lunchtime and Reza and Steven are gonna take me out for lunch. Uh, can you tell me something more about this building, Reza? It's uh, pretty massive. Um, it used to be the Goldman Sachs headquarters. Just left the office and I'm heading back to the hotel to prepare my talk that I'll be presenting at the meetup tonight. A meetup hosted at the Datadog headquarters and sponsored by Blackfire. And it's actually a Drupal New York City meetup group I'm, uh, I'll be speaking in front. Our offices are in Broad Street. Uh, the office, as Reza, my colleague Reza explained, used to belong to Goldman Sachs. And Broad Street is nicely connected to Wall Street. Right there. Final preparations are done. Ready to head out, I have to head out right now to the Datadog headquarters where the Drupal New York meetup is taking place. It is raining outside, it is warm, and I got a flash flood warning. That's the first, let me show you here. Flash floods, avoid the area. I don't know what to do, but uh, I think it's safe to grab a cap. All right, that was a serious thunderstorm outside, but I'm here with a bit of delay. I'm in the New York Times building on 8th Avenue and 40th Street, and I'm heading into the Datadog HQ right now. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, there, man. Beatrice? Good to see you, Stefano. No, no. Hi, Sammy K, right? I've, I've, I've seen you around somewhere like that. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm recording a trip report on the most trips I do. Seems very nice. And I'll have to address the fact that there are Belgians... Belgians... Right here in New York, and I didn't know about it. <laughs> We're gonna have three talks tonight from talented guys. How is everyone doing? Yeah! yeah. Excited face. I'm, I'm equally excited. I could tick off New York City as a place where I've spoken. I see confused faces. A lot of confused faces. That's why I always provide this very image. <laughs> okay, pop quiz. Who's this gentleman? Kevin Costner. Who's that lady? What is the movie? The Bodyguard. Wow, what a crowd, what an audience. Uh, your PHP application, origin server, varnish. <laughs> Kevin Costner, so when in doubt, when, conf when you're confused about reverse caching proxies like varnish, Kevin Costner, who plays Frank Farmer in the movie, will make sure that the origin server, Whitney, is protected from stalky fans, in this case, 
excessive amounts of requests. So when in doubt, think about the body plan. All right? Okay, we can move on now. All right, guys, the meetup was great. The location was great. The company was great. And I met Belgians here that I usually see in Ghent or in Antwerpen, like uh, Dries and Freek. And I didn't know they were coming to New York, so it's a great surprise. And I might take them up on that advice and go to LaraCon, the PHP conference that is happening in New York. Might spend my Wednesday there. All right, time to head back to the hotel. See you tomorrow. I'm on Times Square and I'm heading to the PlayStation Theater where LaraCon US is taking place. A PHP conference about uh, the Laravel framework that I didn't intend to go to. I didn't even know it was taking place prior to flying into New York. But on the meetup on Monday, uh, I actually learned about the event and I was actually invited to go there. I have a free ticket. I'm on my way now to learn about Laravel and to interact with people. PlayStation Theater, just below Times Square. This is Laracon, this is where we're heading. Like Times Square, PlayStation Theater. Uh, so like I said, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about graph databases and I'm really excited to be in New York City today. Not just because New York is an incredible city, but also because it is the perfect place to talk about graph databases. Regular working day is done. I uh, hung out at the office today and we talked about interesting concepts of improving our personalized caching system, which is quite exciting. But enough of that, we'll continue that next week because now this is the very reason why I travel to New York. We're going to Barcade, which is a mix between a bar and an arcade here on 24th Street and 7th Avenue. And that's where we're gonna organize our meetup, hang out with people and try to reintroduce ourselves into web acceleration and content delivery ecosystem should be in this street yeah it's right there barcade So far, still at Barcade here in New York, I'm hanging out with people I've never met before, clients, prospects, people that are interesting to us. We've been drinking, we've been talking, we've been eating, but we've been playing a lot of games as well. I was challenged to a game of pinball by like one of our clients. An excellent way actually here in this arcade to get to know one another and to do this in a very informal way. So I'm really happy with the meetup so far. Raza, Steven, I think we had a successful meetup. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, played some cool games and met a lot of cool people. Um, especially yeah. that, especially that. The games were a way to get to know people in a yeah. way that was not that intrusive as a typical commercial yeah. way. Exactly. And we all lost our voices. Yes, <laughs> yes. I lost my voice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did lose my voice a bit. I, I, I'm feeling it. So I'm going to take the subway and I'm going to go to bed because I have a flight tomorrow. Bye bye.